with an editorial reply, here's a small girl. Hello, my name is Lisa Simpson. <gasps> I'm supposed to talk to you about Proposition 305. Mooching more widows. But I have something more important to say. For reasons beyond my control, I will soon become vapid, sluggish, and slow-witted. So before that happens, I want to share some things with you that have really meant a lot to me. What is she doing out there? I'll cut off her mic. No, no, no. Let her speak. I'm trying to get fired. And please don't deprive yourself of wonderful books like To Kill a Mockingbird, Harriet the Spy, and Yertle the Turtle. Possibly the best book ever written on the subject of turtle stacking. She's got that right. Beauty is all around us, and not just in pageants and parlors. You can find it in the swirl of galaxies or the swirl in the center of a sunflower. That's a good idea. Let's go out for some frosty swirls. Homer, your daughter is pouring her heart out. We'll tape it. Why is she saying all this? Is she dying? Oh, she's just upset because I told her her brains turn into mush. You know, on account of the Simpson gene. Simpson gene? That's just foolishness. No, baldness, too. So please, I beg you, don't take your brain for granted. It's the best friend you'll ever have. <clears throat> Little girl likes her brain. What's your opinion? Simpson Jean. Somebody's got to set that girl straight, and I know how to do it. Marge, get me your address book, four beers, and my conversation hat. Lisa? Lisa, honey, wake up. <sighs> Why bother? Because your father has a big surprise for you. I'm adopted. Better. Come look. Lisa, it's me, Daddy, your father. I rounded up every Simpson in the Tri-City area, so I can prove to you there's nothing wrong with the Simpson genes. This is your great-uncle, Chet. Go ahead, Chet. Tell her what you do. I run an unsuccessful shrimp company. Oh. But you run it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is your second cousin, Stanley. Um, I shoot birds at the airport. Everybody hates birds, right? <laughs> well, uh, you look pretty successful. Thanks. I play a millionaire at parties. At least I'd like to. You probably should have researched this first, eh, Dad? <laughs> what about you? Well, sir, I step in front of cars and sue the drivers. I beg celebrities for money. Uh, I'm a prison snitch. Jug band manager. My legs hurt. Oh. Lisa's right. We're nothing but a big bunch of losers. Show's over, folks. Go home. What about our five bucks? You get it after you leave. Now get out of here. Wait a minute, Homer. You didn't ask everybody. What about the women? Fine, fine. What do you do, Dr. Simpson? Doctor? That's right. I'm Chief of Complicated Surgery at the Invasive Care Clinic. That means you went to college, right? You have to if you want to be an architect. Or an environmental lawyer. Or regional sales coordinator for the third largest distributor of bunk and trundle beds. Whoa, did you hear that, Lisa? So, all the Simpson women turn out okay. That's right, sweetie. The defective Simpson gene is on the Y chromosome, so only men are affected. So I'm not doomed! Oh, Dad, I've never been happier to be your daughter! Oh, it ain't, honey. Remember, there's nothing that says you can't be a Simpson and a success. Unless you're a man. So wait a minute, this means I'm gonna be a failure? Yes, son. A spectacular failure. Eh. Dearest Log, I am me again. And I feel like there's nothing I can do. Except this stupid brain teeth. <gasps>